Hello everyone out there in Vaporland, on the Vapor Trail, or on a Vaptastic Voyage. Today I've got a review of the Vapolution, the original glass-on-glass -glass vaporizer from Northern California. Okay, I am sold already. Glass-on-glass, -glass, great. From Northern California, outstanding. Could this challenge the top shelf plug-in vaporizers? Let's find out. So, they had me before I even opened the box. But when I did open it and picked up the unit, I was a bit shocked. It weighs next to nothing. Seriously, maybe one or two ounces, lighter than some of my portable handhelds. It's got super light plastic all around. It just doesn't look that durable at all. It did include a car charger, which is pretty nice. I'm sure this was for, you know, RVing and so forth. There are two kind of rigid plastic tubes two very thin glass wands and no mouthpieces. You can only get mouthpieces with a premium or ultimate versions. Sorry, that's dumb. However, this vape is super simple to use. But it's got some rules I didn't like. Let's check it out. Plug it in, click it on, and turn the temp up to about 12 o'clock to start. Then let it heat up for five minutes. Wow. Okay, that's a long time. I don't know of any vape that takes that long. While we're waiting, we'll go ahead and load the wand. They say you should definitely not grind your herbs before you load the wand. I've never heard of a vape ever say that. The wand uses a glass dimple to act as a screen, but I want the most surface area possible with ground herbs, so I adapted my setup to be able to use them. And it's all I had, so I didn't have a choice. So, just take a tiny bit of cotton Load it first up against that dimple, and that'll block the air channels on the sides from letting anything go by them, but still allow full flow. It works great. If you haven't set the washer to the right distance, go ahead and do that. There's a guide in the manual that tells you exactly where to put it. Then insert the wand into the hole and let it rest on the washer that you have expertly applied at the right distance. After a few seconds, slowly start to inhale. The draw isn't great, so don't try and rush it. You'll blow a lung out. At first, I was thinking that this vape was so light and kind of cheap that it couldn't possibly produce good vapors. But it did. They were tasty, delicious, and really nice clouds. The herb chamber in the whip doesn't hold much, but I was able to get four nice hits out of one load. I was actually impressed. I had high expectations until I opened the box, then super low expectations, then fully rebounded into being really happy with this vape. The glass on glass really does taste good. It's not terribly expensive and it's adaptable to a car charger or a battery pack. It is funky looking and it's all plastic fantastic and if you can deal with no mouthpiece, stiff tubing, and super thin glass then you would be proud to own this vape. Seriously, it's a good vaporizer. It just doesn't seem that well made. But it works. I would totally recommend this vape to anyone on a budget. For additional information on the Vapolution or any other vaporizer, head over to vaporizerreview.com for more.